Hello everybody. In this section, uh, we are going to start looking at the fourth component of plant chain called RAGS or Retrieval Augmented Generation. So in my opinion, I feel that RAGS is a pretty misunderstood topic because it can be a little tricky for beginners to understand, especially if you are completely new to the concepts like embeddings and vector databases. All right. But don't worry, we are going to be taking it slow step by step. All right. So what is RAGS and what is the problem that it solves? Right. So to answer the question, RAGS solve just one problem with LLMs. Okay. Just one problem. And that is giving LLMs additional knowledge. Just remember that for now. Okay. It gives LLMs additional knowledge or in other words, RAGS basically just provide an external source of information to LLMs so that LLMs can better answer the user's questions. So this is the first problem that it solves, right? So if you don't understand it, let's explore a very simple example. So let's say you work at a company with hundreds of internal documents, right? Let's say things like policy guidelines, technical specs, customer support documents, right? So these are private documents that the LLM does not know. Okay. Just know that. Now let's say you have a question that could be answered by any one of these documents, right? What you would normally do without AI, what you would normally do is you would basically normally comb through each and every single document trying to find your answer, or you would just ask a colleague or something, right? But with AI and with rags, especially we can really streamline this entire process, right? So what you're going to do is instead of going through all the files manually by yourself, right? That which is like the most least efficient way of doing things, right? Instead of doing that, what we do is we make all of these private data available to the LLM. Basically we give this external source of information to the LLM, right? So the next time you have a question, you can just ask that question in plain English. And now that the LLM has access to all your private information, it is now able to comb through all your data and then give you a very informed, accurate answer, right? So that is the power of rags, but this brings us to another important challenge, right? There's a challenge called context limits or context window, right? That is something that, uh, you know, uh, uh, you probably would have experienced it where if you give large, huge prompts to the LLM, it really struggles to answer the question. Right. It really struggles to, uh, it sort of starts hallucinating and it sort of uh, starts to forget what happened before that in the past and all of that, because the context window or the limit becomes very high. So we can't really dump all our private documents into ChatGPT, let's say, and then ask a question on it because that is not going to work. Right. So this is the second problem that RAG solve, which is with context limits. You can make all these PDFs and everything available to the LLM without having to actually dump all of it into a prompt. Let's say you have, let's say hundred or thousand documents sitting in your own private database, right? So rags, the way that it solves this is by only pulling in the relevant sections of the documents based on the prompt that the user provided. Okay. So this way we keep things efficient. We only extract certain chunks from all the documents that are relevant to the user question and then send it to the LLM. Okay. So that's why it's even called rags or retrieval augmented generation, right? So let's actually look at a much better definition. Rags is a method where we combine LLMs with a retrieval system. So this retrieval system can search through vast sources of external information like documents, databases, knowledge base, whenever the LLM needs additional knowledge to give you better answers. So all the while making sure that the LLM is not overwhelmed with bigger prompts. So this section was just a very high level introduction to rags. I don't expect you to completely understand it, but in the next couple of sections, when we actually start splitting the entire rag module into all its individual components, it is going to start making a lot of sense. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing in the next section. So I'll see you there.